The following video has been brought to you by me. Hey guys, it's me, Double D, with another episode of Star Fox Adventures! Last time, we returned the last spell stones to the Forest Point Temples, but realized that the planet has not been put back together and deduced that it may be the Krozoa spirits that be responsible for, for putting the planet back together. We also learned from Tricky, who d failed to, to tell us earlier, that there was indeed a Krozoa spirit, possibly, at Walled City. So we're going to be going back out to space to Walled City. We do not have to get, expend fuel cells just to go back to Walled City, thank god. So yeah, this will be our only instance of revisiting a floating piece of rock of the, of the well planet. Now, I will tell you this. All the cheat tokens here are now gone. I put them in the cheat token maze in there already to record the bonus episode. Because you will be reaching a point where where you should be able to Put your chi tokens in now. So if there, if you want to put your chi tokens in, now will be the best time to do it. You can pretty much guess where this is going. With that, I'll go return to orbit and then head on up to revisit Walled City to explore what we haven't explored of the city at all. Seriously, it should be fishy that some, there's something more to Walled City that we haven't explored if it only took us like two episodes. To, to complete what we need to do. I mean, granted, Dragon Rock did the same, but at least those, those segments were kind of short. Anyway, we have to make our return to Walled City. Hurry, Fox! There must be another Krasoa Shrine hidden within the Walled City. When you land, go directly to the King Earthwalker. He should be able to tell you where to start looking. Happy out! Now, I'm going to skip this, uh, skip this se the section for now because we've already seen it. All right, I beat my high score. Sweet. Yeah, I think this is only the second time ever I got a perfect in for Walled City's force field, which means, yeah, I'm getting really good at this. Anyway, with that, Peppy said that immediately after landing, we gotta go to the King Earthwalker to see what we have to do to for, about the Krizoa spirit. With that, with the red eye gone, the, the Earthwalker should now be freely be on, roaming around in the in the temple. With that, there they are at the front. At least the king, waiting for us. Hello, king. How are you doing? Fox, on behalf of Dinosaur Planet, I thank you for returning the spellstones to their rightful place. <laughs> for what good it did? If you didn't notice, you're still stuck up here in this floating rock. By removing the spellstones, scales caused our planet to tear apart. Returning the stones has stopped the flow of magic energy. But only by the power of the Krizoa spirits will the floating lands return. Seems like we both have our reasons for finding the last of the spirits. The queen said I could find one here in the city. So where is it? The spirit will be revealed once both the sun and moonstones are returned to the temple. Sun and moonstones? Well, I better get Pokemon Evolved with those two things because those are good because we're going to be needing those. But yeah, those temples that were closed off are now open to us. What do you got to say, good sir? Your goal may seem close, but the answer is not always so clear. Thank you for some th for that vague, vague thing. Anyway, so we have ourselves a puzzle, a block puzzle, and we have to place these these blocks all the way to the sun sun symbols. Unfortunately, should any of these blocks touch the walls. They will just be reset, reset, and you will have to start start this all over. And all of these should be done at a certain order. So with that, I'm gonna start with start with you, push you over here, and then you push you over here. Huh, I guess the tread marks just give give us hint. I guess. Yeah, this is sort of like an ice block puzzle because the blocks will slide until they hit something, and if they hit the edge, then that's pretty much gonna reset the whole puzzle this yeah this one's kind of easy and that opens the sun the the, oh, the way to the sun temple that was a weird way way of putting it anyway let's go in here and then take the elevator up the slanted elevator and uh let me just show you something in general pepper remember when uh, remember this? The thing that looked like that looked like an optional thing? 
The zoom goggles that we had to buy from the buy from the Thorntail store? Yeah. I forgot to mention this before we left, but I recommend that you also no, you must buy this early as early as possible before going over to Wall City at the second time. If you do not have this, you're gonna have to go back and it'll be a hassle. But you do need the zoom goggles for this. On my first playthrough, I did not buy this and have to had to go back because with the zoom goggles, you're supposed to look into this window standing where we're on this square and zoom in close to the lens over there. Well, that's gonna blind Fox for several years. Anyway, now that you practically blinded yourself, the way to the temple is now open. Okay, so what's to do in this temple? Well, aside from these fiery bats, they're gonna be annoy the hell out of, out of us. I'm gonna set that to the shoot to a shortcut. The freeze blast is all has always been useful. Okay, to do this, there are two two flames. No, three flames. Two of them are orange, and one of them are is blue. You're gonna have let we have to rearrange these blocks so that each so that each symbol is is facing front at well to the front, or at least is visible to where they were standing. For example, this thing has has a symbol visible from here, so of course you have to do it from here. Uh, this one has has a moon visible on this side, so you have to put it in a place where it's visible from there. I'm gonna, have, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Do this. And then place it over here. And now this. Has one that goes over here. I'm gonna have to push the, push this over there so I could easily so I could easily pull the pull the things. But yeah. This one has one all the way to the left side of this room, at least from my perspective of, of what I'm viewing it right now, to over here. And now, on to the other one. Okay. So yeah, this is a really cool, cool idea, and a really cool revisit to a floating rock. And I really like the, like the idea, I wish we could, we could be able to revisit the other flo floating rocks to see what's there, so we don't have to worry about not making in time. Anyway, we have ourselves a ground quake, a ground quake portion. Um, I wonder, what, I wonder what this is for. But we we have to use a ground quake. Let's set it to the Y shortcut because this is time. Our next objective is to find all the switches in within the time limit. The switches have been off, which in, which means it'll, it should bar us from a lot of from from advancing any further on a lot of things. I highly recommend you take the time to refill in your magic jar if you magic gauge if you haven't already. Okay, I'm gonna cool you because this involves all your magic. Okay, cool you down. Okay, you will if you see some sparkles. That means you've come across a dead end. Okay. And then I believe there I see a fire blaster target over there. Okay. Okay, and then we go over here. I I believe no, there's a wall over there, which means there's something else. Oh, the, oh yeah, tricky. Okay, and now we activate the switch. That means that that sparkle should be gone, and we should be able to get, proceed on through through this wall. Okay. I might as well refill restore our health. And okay, I was totally wrong. This is not the last point, last time we're gonna be seeing the portal device see any use. I believe we're gonna be seeing the portal device being used in the Moon Temple too, but I could be wrong about that. And now we have to use our fire blaster because I believe this describes the process of sunrise. I could be wrong about this, so or sunset. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it is indeed the process of sunrise. Yeah, it is indeed the process of sunrise. Okay. It, okay, that's step one. I believe you are step two. And I missed. Because my aim is friggin' terrible. Okay, you are step two of the process of sunrise. Oh no, you are step three. Okay. 
yeah, once you figure out figure out what step one is, step two and three should be no problem to figure out. Okay. Let's go let's wait for this this thing to go up here. Step two is all the way up there. Okay. Okay, and then shot lead. There we are. The Splatoon player in me would be very proud of how I'm shot leading, even though I'm stationary and I'm not not moving and therefore it's not real it's not matching up to an actual Splatoon match. So I would be a terrible shot. Okay, that's step two down. And now the wheel is faster, so I might as well fire as much as I can. Yeah. And there we go! With these steps, we have collected on the other side our reward. This is the Sunstone! It allows you to evolve certain Pokémon, like a Gloom to a Blossom. I'm just kidding. You place it underneath the temple to reveal the Krizoa Shrine. I wanted to make a Pokémon joke, but I, I just can't seem to fall. They come with a good one. Anyway, still with that, we are now able to leave the Sun Temple, and now we should be on our way to the Moon Temple. Because when you got the Sun, when you got the Moon, when you got Solgaleo, you got Lunala to follow. I promise this will be the last Pokemon joke. Probably. Maybe not. But the point is, I'm gonna go to meet you guys on the other side where the Moon Temple is. Here we are at the Moon Temple. What do you have to say? Where the walls fade, time is your only enemy. Well, that certainly doesn't make me feel any more comfortable. So the Moon Temple. I like to consider this the harder version of the Sun Temple because the Moon Temple is pretty, pretty much hard. Okay, I'm gonna push you here because this is pretty much the only place I can go. Yeah, this is the only place I can go, okay. Now, we, I want to do this in a certain order, okay. I'm gonna push you here. And, okay, the tread marks pretty much give away of, as to almost where exactly do we have to put things. Uh, no, 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 no! Well, I feel dumb, I, put, I did things in the wrong order. Silly me, I am so, I am so smart. Anyway, what I was trying to do, let's do this step again, is to get that block over there to there. Silly me. Yeah. Anyway, we now have unlocked the windows to the moon. And with that, let's go on over there. This is the entrance to the temple. Let's go over up to that step pyramid, to the top of the stair pyramid, up the slanted elevator. I want to go in a slanted elevator, even though it's no different than a regular elevator, but the experience is kind of neat. Look up into the window, and look directly into the moon. And now we have unlocked the way inside the Moon Temple. So the Moon Temple, as you would guess, is themed after the moon, which means when we got Solgaleo, Solgaleo and Solrock, we got Lunala and Lunatone. Can I just say a missed opportunity to involve Solrock and Lunatone and Sun and Moon? But this is not Pokemon, this is Star Fox. Anyway, we have our open, but we have gates. If I can remember, Okay, that was a that was catastrophic. Okay. Okay, so we need to make sure the gates we we don't stay in the platforms for too long because the platforms will fall. Okay, there we are. Okay, um uh, no 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 no. Uh, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Okay, let's try this again. So yeah, stay on the platform for too long and you may as well fall. Okay. Let me just go up here. Okay, 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 in here. Two, three, four, five. As soon as the gate opens, I'm gonna rush over there. There we go. That's step one. And now step two. This looks like an empty room, right? Well, I need to refill all my magic, but once we do that, we need to do a ground quake here. 
And this one I find pretty cool. Let's do a ground quake here. The super ground quake is going to consume much of my magic. This might look easy, but... Invisible walls. So yeah, you're going to have to memorize where the invisible wall is so we can be... So you can be able to advance further. And I'm, I'm just being trapped in all sides. Okay, let's go up here. You only got, you only got like a 30, 30 seconds or so. Okay. Let's go to this side. And you pretty much have to remember where you went. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, uh. Three, two, one. Just barely made it. Yes. Okay. That was close. Okay. With that, now I believe this is the last time we are ever going to use the portal device. Okay. I gotta find more. I gotta find more magic because we're, I'm gonna be using the fire blaster a lot, and you know how my aim is. Okay. With that, now we have the process of going from, I believe, from a full moon to a crescent moon. Um, I'm gonna have to do this first. Okay! From crescent to full moon, okay. At least I know, now know, I now got, got the thing on my first try. And now, the bridge is open, and our reward for getting through this puzzle is a moonstone! We can finally evolve a Clefairy into a Clefable, a Neo King, or, or rather, a Nidorino, a Nidorina, to a Nido King, a Nido Queen, respectively, and other Pokemon evolve through a Moonstone. But here, it has the key to be able to open up the place to the Krizoa Shrine. With that, I will go meet you guys where we place these things. Because it's pretty much where you would not expect at all if you haven't been paying attention whatsoever. Actually, now we're on the other. Now that we're on the outer reaches of the temple, I can now just guide you there instead of cutting there, but the place where you place the stones is something I didn't really think of until after I until after I did after I thought about it a lot more. So, with that the place where you place the two stone, stones no, stones is down here where we place the red eye teeth on our first visit here I didn't really think to do this until, and I just searched around looking like an idiot until I found that there are, there were sun and moon symbols. Yeah, I didn't really think much about about it and thought they were cool decorations, but no, these were indeed hints as to what, as to well, where we can go. With that, let's place the moonstone. Now, Krizoa Palace has been opened to us, or rather, the Krizoa Shrine has been opened to us on the top of the temp, the, the central temple's step pyramid. I was, I am really wearing it very, very, very weirdly. But the point is, the top of the step pyramid is now open to us, which means it's time to take on the last Krizoa test. What do you have to say? The Earthwalker you saved was a great friend. Thank you, Fox. Aw, wait, you didn't address him as your king? Okay, uh, what about you? Soon our tribe can return to the city. That's kind of sweet. And you, king, now that we got the, the temple unlocked. Your final test awaits at the top of the temple. Indeed it does. Okay, so let's go over to the top and nothing will block us from... I'm going to the top of the temple, so it should be easy street going to the top of the temple, and here's my last warning to you. If there is stuff you need to do in Dinosaur Planet, whether it's the cheat codes or other optional things, I would highly recommend that you will that you do them now, before you complete the Krizoa test in Walled City. Because, after completing the test, everything will be cut off from you. So yeah. If there's anything you need to do back at Dinosaur Planet, I suggest you turn around and do them now. With that, let's go over here in our in our final, well not final, but into the Krizoa Shrine.
Once you enter this shrine, you have reached the point of no return. Which means you cannot go back to Dinosaur Planet. Yeah, you can't warp back. So yeah, this truly is the point of no return. So yeah, when you enter this shrine, that's it. You are pretty much... Oh, you can go back. Silly me, but I guess I just spoiled that, but that there is indeed a point of no return coming up. But yeah. But yeah. Oh, I keep saying but yeah. Point is, this is... We're getting near the point of no return, and that is why I did the Chi Tokens before recording this episode because there is no going back there is no turning turning around after you get the shrine okay let's go over here okay i'm just gonna ignore you i have nothing to fear i'm just gonna ignore you i don't care if i'm on fire we i've been through worse and we have loads and loads of health left we have loads and loads of health left okay Let's go over here. I'm gonna extinguish the flames. Extinguish the flames here. I do believe they do go back. I don't know. And if I'm not mistaken, there should be a fire blaster target somewhere. Let me go check if I, now that I'm on the other side. Yes, there is indeed a fire blaster target. And oh my god, good thing I'm in here. At least I think that's a fire blaster target. Okay, good. It is. Okay, I believe this is the last room before the test. I see the Krizoa Shrine, so yeah. Okay, might as well rush on over there. I don't care if I'm on fire. Because I have plenty of health left. And there we are. Here we are. Krizoa test number five. And these rooms look... And this looks really different than what we have been used to. We got ourselves images from the past. From... We got images from... From Moon Mountain Past. We have an image of Lightfoot Village. Um, Cloud Runner Fortress, it, even though it might not be apparent. Outer Space. Uh, I think this is Moon Mountain Pass. No, Dark Ice Mines. I can't really tell from, from those rocks. And Walled City, which we're in right now. Anyway, let's go talk to you. The Test of Knowledge. Match the items with the levels. If you can succeed, I will become yours to return to Krizoa Palace. We only have 1 minute and 20 seconds to place the items in their re respective plots places. This is the Cloud Runner flute, which clearly this came from Cloud Runner Fortress. To know that you got it right, the a flame will, will appear, which means, okay. This is a meteorite, which means it belongs to space. Okay. Right over here. Right over here is a is a tooth a red-eye tooth which means this goes to walled city which we're in right now okay we only have we only have three things left okay here we have the the flute the horn which i believe this is ah okay this is indeed dark ice mines okay we only have two more things to go square block or a log clearly lightfoot village and now our last item the moon seed the thing we aren't going to use anymore, that belongs to Dark... No, Moon Mountain Past. Elephant never forgets, but I forgot the elephant remembered. But I do remember that we caught the fifth Krizoa spirit for having a great memory. I really started a lame joke, did I? This is it, Tricky. It's time to say goodbye. I know you're right, Fox. It's just... Yeah, I know. I'm gonna miss you, too. Without your help, this mission would have failed. So I've got something for you. Prince Tricky, 
Earthwalker, you are now an honorary member of the Star Fox team. Dad, did you hear that? Me, a member of Star Fox! Do I get my own spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> I'll come and visit you soon. Just don't make it too long, okay? That is just too precious! Oh, he's following me one last time. And apparently we're gonna be stealing his- No! Tricky's commands are no longer ac accessible to us! Yeah! I'll be the first dinosaur in space! You already went to space with us! <laughs> but yeah. None of Tricky's commands are available to him now. We can't use Tricky ever. Yuri is still following us until we part ways at the bridge. I feel like I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> it's like leaving your dog behind for, for better pastures. Goodbye, Tricky. Goodbye, all. But I must go. Go back to Dinosaur Planet. Let us go to Dinosaur Planet, and we can't access these anymore. Here we are, back to Dinosaur Planet we go. Let's go, Fox! Get that spirit directly back to the Crusoe Palace! I am adjusting your flight path so that you will land at the top of the palace. As soon as you get there, head down inside to release the spirit. Pepper out! This is indeed true. After completing the shrine, Th Dinosaur Planet, no, Thorntail Hollow will be cut off from you. So yeah, we have truly entered the point of no return. As your flight path, despite the fact that this level is still unchanged at all, your flight path will be directly to Krizoa Palace instead. You will be landing there from this point forward. You will not be able to go back to Thorntail Hollow at all. Which means if you have no, you, that was your last chance to deposit any cheat tokens you, at the game maze that you, well, you got. That is your last chance to buy anything you need at the at the Thorntail store, which of course you probably ha there probably isn't much more that you're going to need aside from the, the of a farm dad bag if you decided not to go for it. Everything that's in Dinosaur Planet has been cut off from you now. With that, I'm gonna go meet you guys at well Krizoa Palace now that we're gonna be going there. Which means we get to stare at boot. Okay, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. Instead, let's just not go down here. But we want to go back into the central hub. Hub. And we need to find an entrance to that central hub. Because if we go over to Slippy's hints, that I'm probably gonna. Hints! Hi, Fox! It's Slippy! Find a place where you could not cross before. So, yeah, we need to find a place that was. that always has been inaccessible to us, but now not in. That we can know that we can couldn't access before. So there, it could be interpreted in several ways. It could be interpreted to the many doors that we had we that had access that we didn't have access to, but but we that were, those are now open to us. Anyway, there's a brain squid over there that contains the other end of the way up to the top floor. So that that throws that out of the equation. Now I believe the entrance to that place in question. Is on the third floor. Okay, maybe not. That's the sharp claw. That's the sharp claw tab thing. That's the sharp claw door. Ah, there we go. I believe that is that place that we could not go to before, but now we can. Because apparently this was closed, but now it's open. And with it open, we now have access to a new area of Krizoa Palace that we could not go here before. In fact, at the end of this, I believe. There's an open area with a shark claw that I will kill so that he does not interrupt me. And there we go. There is a place to release the second to last Krizoa spirit.
And so, the last Krizoa spirit awaits us. I'm gonna head for the central hub to end, end the episode there because uh, the music is so relaxing and I want you to be able to listen to it and the end card. So with that, I guess, I guess this is good enough. Actually, no, there is a sharp claw there trying to interrupt my interrupt my flow, so I might as well meet you guys back at the top floor where Crystal is. Yeah, it's totally gonna mess up the flow of everything. Okay, so we might not get the epic music for the for the thing, but at least it beats it being interrupted by the sharp claw. Anyway, so next time on Star Fox Adventures, it will be the end of all. Next time on Star Fox Adventures, we're gonna be getting the last Krizoa spirits, and then we'll save Crystal. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!